When you live on the Gulf, hurricanes are kind of a way of life. Every hurricane brings along a certain amount of anxiety, but to know that Hurricane Ida was going to come aboard as a Category 4 had a lot of folks apprehensive. Hoping that this was not going to be another Katrina. We were right in the eye of the storm. Everybody's shouting, close the doors, close the doors, close the doors. Panic started to set in. This is the big one. We really have to start preparing. The date that Hurricane Ida made landfall was August 29th. In the final 48 hours, we had had a pretty good bead from the Emergency Operations Center of what the impact was going to be. The impact was pretty severe. The hospital executive teams worked continuously with HCA Healthcare, corporate command center teams throughout the preparation during the hurricane as well as the aftermath. During the storm, winds were getting high. We were losing power. We started to switch over to generator power. Every clinic lost power, didn't have any water, didn't have any phone systems or internet to be able to communicate with our patients or our staff. There was no gas to be had for at least 60 miles. And we were actually locked down and it's sinking in that this is going to be our home for the next couple of days. How long, we really didn't know. We were running all over the place. The water was coming in. It was just nonstop. And we kept going and we made sure each and every patient that stayed with us was taken care of. The number of colleagues that experienced tremendous damage to homes is just, it's really unthinkable. They still came to work because we have jobs to do. As I was here at the hospital taking care of what needed to be done for patients, got a call from a neighbor that said that my house was, had a tree through it. I've lost the roof on half of my house. I've had water intrusion to the point where we we're gonna have to gut my entire house. So me and my family have significantly been impacted by Hurricane Ida. Resiliency is the ability to overcome and adapt. You pick up the pieces and you look for support wherever you can get that. And that's what we do here at Lakeview and with HCA Healthcare. And that's what we did during Hurricane Ida. The response was largely a result of the experience during Katrina that we've built upon, we've refined, we've become even more sophisticated in our thinking. We only get better at this over time. HCA Healthcare was tremendous in their post-storm response. With a matter of hours, the response was just overwhelming, outpouring of supplies, food trucks, gas, you name it, HCA Healthcare delivered. The leadership team came in and helped us with preparing meals, serving, washing the dishes, and they were there for us, as everybody else in the hospital was. We were able to donate leftover ice and the trailer of the extra supplies to the local food bank, where they later distributed the supplies to much needed areas that helped the community out tremendously. Nurses came to us from as far away as Colorado, Texas, Kentucky, Florida, everywhere you could imagine. ACA was able to secure two hotels in the downtown New Orleans area. They provided over 500 rooms for staff members and their family to be able to sleep, eat, and have a safe place to go at night. They care like family for all of their employees, for all of their patients. Some people lost everything, but it gave them a sense of, I could go forward, I can continue giving patients above and beyond because I know I have a little bit of help at the end of the road. The support that we've received from HCA has been I'm gonna try not to get emotional, has been mind-blowing for me. We actually had someone call us from Nashville and ask, what resources, what do you need, what can we do for you? What HGA has done for us has taken an enormous weight off our shoulders, so I'm eternally grateful for everything they've done for us. Very grateful for HCA Healthcare. I'm proud to have been part of everything that we've ever done. There is a consistency of spirit that is beyond 
anything that I know that exists in any other healthcare organization. We live our mission statement. Above all else, we are committed to the care and improvement of human life.